Hey guys, we're live here, uh, episode number 16 of Letting It All Hang Out, and we've got an awesome panel today. We might have some more surprise guests that jump in and out as we go along. Um, as always, we got Scott Taylor McCormick here. Scott, how are you doing today? Hey, Yuli, I'm doing good. I was just thinking, actually, just as you were clicking the, the live button, um, episode 16, that's, yeah. uh, that's quite some time, isn't it? Just uh, It's like four months ago that we had that little conversation on Skype of putting these uh, hangouts together. So four months, that's quite some time. So, yeah, awesome. It's going to be good. Yeah, it doesn't take much to just get going and start doing these things. That's why I love this whole technology thing. It just blows my mind. You can just say you're going to do it, and you do it, and it's, it's just more plug and play at that point. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Steve Greenhouse as well. Steve, how are you, sir? I'm absolutely excellent. Thanks ever so much for having me on yet again. I, I seem to... The, the invite comes every week, and I just think, well, one of these days I'm going to probably put my foot in it, and you won't invite me back. So, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't yet. You have to shoot from the yeah. hip. So, you well, know, that's why we like you, if anyone is offended by harsh language, then just, well, tough shit, basically. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I always click on the, uh, you must be 18 to join this conversation when you're invited, so. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> It's not uh, felt. It'll be fun. Someone's phone. It's probably mine ringing back there somewhere. I'll turn it off in a second. Uh, Jill Humphreys, how are you, Jill? Hi, I'm cool. Thank you. Thank you again for asking me back as well. I'd be coming part of the furniture, so I'm just like uh, kind of. I, I don't go anywhere, you know. When you switch off, I'm still here. When you come back on Tuesday, so. <laughs> yeah, Bert, you just stay there. Just hang on. <laughs> I like that attitude. <laughs> just stay where you leave me. <laughs> I don't hate that at all. Sandra Lenning, how are you doing today? Hello, everyone. I'm really good. Thanks, Julie. Thank you for letting me back on. Um, I'm really enjoying coming on to these uh, Hangouts. Uh, they're really, really valuable. I love you guys. You're great. Yeah, and Sandra never sleeps either, so she's she's from, uh, <laughs> she's from down under. And, and our time for, I mean, I think, she's, I think it's Thursday where she is, and uh, she hasn't slept since Monday. So every time I'm on Facebook or one of these, she's up and... I don't get it. I don't even know how she sleeps. I, I don't know. I don't get it. And uh, joining us also uh, brand new this week is uh, James Williams and his partner Chris. How are you guys doing today? Hi, how are you doing? Um, Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? We're, Hi. Uh, we're virgins this week, so um, <laughs> which hasn't happened for a long time. So uh, <laughs> um, yeah, looking forward to getting involved and in, uh, sharing our experiences so far. Um, if you didn't already know, we've just taken the step and we've paired up uh, just yesterday. So uh, exciting yeah, times ahead for us. Cool. I, you you yeah. guys, this is the first time you guys have been on. So why don't you, both of you, just give us a quick two-second background. I'm going to run and shut my phone off. That Chris door? I'm sorry? Yes, it is, Steve, yeah. Hi, how yeah. are you? How are you That's doing? It. You all right? Yeah. Oh, my giddy goat. We've got people queuing at the hotel. Look at Hello. that. What? Live from London. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? You're muted out, Sri. You gotta mute. You're muted out. Are we back in. Oh, I don't know. We on? Wait, can you hear? There uh, you are. Uh, I can hear everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey! We can. Oh, is this is live from oh, yeah. the uh, platinum event. Jill, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, how you going? Hi Jill, Sandra. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi. Thanks, Jill. It's good to see you. Jill, this is the one I said had the Nick James eyes. You can see, can't you? Yes. Jill <laughs> from Australia is here. Hey yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm just pointing Hi, out. Hi, how you doing, point. guys? Yeah, not too bad. All the way from Australia to London. Wow. <laughs> I uh, know, bad. It's a shame you didn't discover technology before you left, because Sandra's still in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even. <laughs> Michelle, how are you doing? I'm doing awesome, Yuli. I've learned so much, and I'm in my power zone. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey. You gonna drop, do some push-ups or something? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 She's push ball right. I lifted up Kubasek. Yeah. Oh my God. That's, that's perfect. That's Just, I will try out with his hair. 
<laughs> Don't poke your eye out with his hair. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so what are you guys up to over there? Just doing some uh, some masterminding. You guys start the event already, or? We just finished eating food. We couldn't right. stay in the restaurant. I actually wanted to taunt people with my fries. I give you some fries. I'm eating because it's too noisy out there. Yeah. Are yeah. you moving? To, are you gonna move to London, Sri? If I get to see Jill once more, yeah, why not? Oh, I miss her. I miss her. I really miss her. I miss you badly. <laughs> well, guys, we were just uh, we were just gonna have um, James and Chris kind of give a quick intro. Um, they've they've not been on this hangout before, so they would just do a little background just so we can kind of get to know them a little better. If, uh, if Those two guys are awesome. We love them here. Cool. <laughs> Too kind to me, isn't he? <laughs> um, yeah. She's a lover. She's a lover. I'll um I'll kick off with things then. Um, I've done nine years in the Air Force. Um, I've got three months to serve, and at the end of three months, then I plan to take this up full time. Um, I actually got offered a job last week as a mark as a recruitment consultant in London. And uh, I'm actually turning it down and just taking the plunge and uh, going for it. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, big, big times ahead. Um, I was at the gold event at the weekend and I could not believe how good it was. It was I loved walking in and everyone being on the same wavelength as me, and it was just so exciting to be there. And I learned so much. And I'll hand you over to Chris. Awesome. Hey Chris, Hello, what's up? Guys. Hello guys, Chris here. Um, Similar sort of background to James, really. I've done 11 years in the Air Force now. Um, I've got a year left of, um, of a 12-year engagement. Um, and like James, with, with a year to go, I've had a look of options. And, and I've always been keen on business. I've always been keen on, on kind of making money and, and working for, for, um, for yourself rather than working for other people. Stumbled upon SFM randomly and, um, and basically haven't looked back. I'm loving... I'm going to mirror James's words here and say I'm loving the community. I'm loving the the kind of the the enthusiasm of everybody, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys a little bit more. I have a quick question for. Yeah, go I ahead, have a quick question. If you have been there for eleven years, when did you join? Six or seven? That's what I was going to ask. You <laughs> you listed eight years old or something? <laughs> you you're in the wrong job for me. You should be a stand up. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I joined up straight from school, Sheree. Yeah, I did I did too. I joined the Marine Corps right out of school and I uh I don't look like that, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. me too. This <laughs> job beats that, huh? Can you see this banner behind us? This is where we belong, Digital Express Aca Experts Academy. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> that that is, cool. is so cool. Yeah, we're, we're getting an absolute injection of, um, of awesomeness and awesomeness. awesomeness. Yeah. Of course, uh, talking of awesomeness, we have Sandra Lemming. She's queen of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you shall be everybody. <laughs> so what do you guys have? Does everybody still have their pants on? Does everybody still have their pants on, or have it charmed you off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep mine on for now. For yeah, now. Yeah, you too. Probably <laughs> more worried if Chris didn't have our pants on. Fun, so. Cherie learned something very powerful. I want to tell you what Cherie learned. This is awesome. He learned how to hug today. So he's <laughs> hugging everybody. Yeah, he never hugged. Isn't that now great? Now we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Group hug. Big, big group hug. Here. Okay. Big group hug. Jason said he didn't get anyone today, so here's for the camera. <laughs> yes. Hug it out. That's awesome, guys. Yay! Well, one, one quick point I want to bring up, as, uh, as Sri mentioned earlier in one of our conversations, that, uh, I mean, we're all here from all different backgrounds. We're, I mean, different genders, different nationalities, different eth ethnics, cultures, and there just really isn't, when you, when you get into this, online community, especially with the Digital Experts Academy and the Six Figure Mentors, there just isn't a, uh, there's no boundaries from where you come. I and mean, we've got we've got London here, we've got Australia here, I'm in Michigan in the cold weather, we've got all sorts of people, we've got uh, uh, people at, at a Digital Experts Academy event that are all just soaking in so much information this weekend and, and this week in general, and we just, ha there's absolutely no 
boundaries to what we're capable of doing or where we come from. So, so there's no prejudice, no nothing like that when it comes to joining a community like ours. And for that, I want to congratulate all of you guys um, and, and everybody involved because it's just an amazing opportunity for everybody to come together and 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 just feel the love and, and, and learn to grow and do their own thing. So um, yeah. I got to – somebody else pick up from there. Steve's out. I think Steve's lost here. So no. – oh. Uh, always the DJ. Always the DJ. Uh, another thing, today we wanted to talk about inspiration, how to stay inspired, how to stay motivated, especially because when uh, you're in a digital business, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to do. You you're sometimes are alone and, you're, and you feel like the struggle, and that's why a community is so helpful because the struggle and, and the alone part is kind of taken off. And, um, and we're also going to talk about some pretty major breakthroughs that – I guess a, a slew of the panel here has gone through. Um, does anybody want to start off with that? Anybody who has a, a quick story to tell? Chris, why don't you go first? James? Hello, sorry, I was uh, slightly sidetracked. Can you repeat what you asked? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, we were just talking about breakthroughs, and, and we've noticed that you've been putting on some videos on YouTube that you've not done in the past. And uh, we just want to talk about that and what what it took for you to kind of just step on your you know obviously you you know you're in the military so fear is something that you deal with on a daily basis um, and you learn how to manage that but it's different when it comes to simple things like making a video so <laughs> yeah how definitely. do you kind of move through that and get get to where um, you're going without a doubt um I was speaking to Chris about it yesterday and um, I was actually really nervous doing a video because I've never actually filmed a video before. And um, I think the important thing about um, filming the video for me was it's actually just saying to myself, this is me. You know, I, I got up at I, whatever time it was, it was early hours of the morning, I was going into work, I looked like absolute shit, but I just thought to myself, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm happy with me, so why shouldn't anyone else who actually likes me? Yeah, that that's a good point there, hey, you know. Um, you should really um, always just be yourself on film and um, like I, what I've done, I used to set my camera up. It used to take me six hours to set my camera up and I get a, like a four minute video, you know, and you just don't want to be doing that uh, when it comes to video marketing. So really good idea is uh, I just use my phone now and I just pull it out whenever I want, when I have an idea in my head and away I go. And, um, you know, it makes you more personable. Um, brings up your your video marketing to a, to a new level. And you're, yeah, and you're inspired. You're in the moment. You're not, you know, you're not waiting. You're not writing it down. You're in the moment, and you're you're ready to put something out right away. I just wish yeah. they made a waterproof phone because it seems as soon as I turn the shower on, I instantly get an idea <laughs> all the time. So it's I'm gonna true. set up a camera that would be up there. Just video, really? yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna set up a camera up in my shower. Just this part of, oh, <laughs> <laughs> of the program is program is not intended for kids. Yeah, yeah. This, is, uh, this is all right at internet marketing. Yeah, that would be a classic. Must Can be I just, uh, old attraction marketing. You remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'll be right back. Uh, I gotta go shut my phone off. It's in the other room. So hold on. I'll be right. You guys finish up what we were just talking about. Um, can I just add something? I'm gonna have to go out yeah, and read. James. Um, yeah, I think um, a big turning point for me, and I don't know how many of you have watched it, was when Cherie did that video at the Gold event at the weekend, and, yeah. and that was massive inspiration to me, because I thought, fair play, that takes some balls to get up in front of all those people, yeah. all his, you know, his peers, and yeah. you know, people of varying ability, and uh, he just got up in the background. Yeah, man, it, it took absolute uh, balls, eh? I, I want to congratulate you uh, on that, Shree. And um, yeah, that's what it takes, eh, to succeed. You know, you just got to step out of your comfort zone and uh, give it a go. You know, like do, do, do a ninety. <laughs> what what is it that you say, Street? Got to be comfortable being uncomfortable. How'd that work out for you this weekend? <clears throat> I am totally in my zone right now. You don't look <laughs> it. You look miserable, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> I sue you out for saying that. <laughs> That's awesome. I have never felt this powerful. You just have to break through your fears. Show just it to go me. Go for it, and you'll find your sweet spot. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Good. That's you awesome. know, I want to tell you that every night 
Jay and Stu have been like right with us, dining with us and drinking. They're always here. They're not like the typical owners that hang out, that go off to another restaurant on their own. They're here with us. It's so much fun. Yeah, he's actually, he just sent me a message. He's on his way down to see you guys, I think. And, yeah, uh, he, he's jumped out of his shower too, so he should be here soon. Okay, he's he's going going the world, but he said he was, the shower inspired him. I was rather worried yeah. when he said he was acting in this. I'm not kind of angry. He will be with us in this screenshot in awesome. front of you. That's cool. Tell him to bring a couple of beers for the rest of us. Jill, you've had some pretty interesting breakthroughs uh, over the last couple of years, and um, would you mind sharing that a little bit with everybody? Who, me? Yeah, why not? If you're going to answer to your name. Sorry, I, I wasn't sure who you said. Did you say me? I was totally preoccupied with yeah. what everything's going on. Yeah, if, uh, if um, you've had a couple of breakthroughs over the last couple of months, years, um, give us a little yeah. feedback on what you're thinking. Well, I I actually came into the business because I didn't own a computer. I hadn't got a clue about anything technical. My son begged me to get a, a computer, which I did. He showed me Twitter. He showed me Facebook. And through, through Facebook, I found Stuart. And I kind of listened to what he was saying. I didn't understand a damn thing about the business, but I, I really liked what he was saying. And... Um, I was going through a phase of sort of like looking after my mum and bringing up my son single-handed and in the area I am there isn't any really local work so I wanted to work from home and I was looking for work from home opportunities and um, I found this and I'm afraid as soon as I found it I couldn't let it go I just had to stay and um, I'm glad I did I hung around for six months. I didn't really do anything with it, but it, for me, it was an investment in my education. And then when I kind of understood what it was all about, I thought, you know what, I want to get more involved with it and, and start doing something in it. And then with all the personal development and everything that was in it, I just stuck with it. And I went for Tony Robbins coaching. Um, I just started getting out there, doing an awful lot more things. Now I've qualified coach because it's given me the <clears throat> you know, the confidence to come out again after caring for somebody for 10 years. Um, I've got to say that the community, though, is just like a family. I mean, look at us all here. I mean, my God, that's, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, we've got that connection with people. You build that relationship. It might be virtual. But you guys there, you're all there now at that weekend. Events are the keys to your business, and when you get that a power of association, it just lifts you. Like Steve always says, you know, a rising tide lifts all ships, and it's so true. It doesn't matter what you are or who you are or where you are. It just takes you with it. Joe, Amy, tell Oops, Steve, you're breaking up a little bit, buddy. Steve, we lost you there. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but you're in freeze frame right now. He is, he's frozen. <laughs> yeah, he's, <coughs> he's stopped. Yeah, he's yeah. frozen. So, Sandra, how about yep. you? What do you What do you think are the key elements to uh to to getting that not not only just staying inspired and get and, and having a breakthrough, but having the courage to actually take that step to like like Sri and and James and all these other and Marie and all these other people who do and Steve who's who's doing these doing these ninety day challenges, these videos and. They've never been on video before, and what do you think is like the major? Yeah. What's the key element there? <clears throat> well, I think the key element, Yuli, it has to be support, a supportive community. Um, most people, I find, can do anything if they had the support behind themselves. I mean, you look at you said that you joined the Marines straight out of school. A lot of the stuff that you did with the Marines, if you didn't have the support of the core, the group that you were in, your your team players, you probably would never have done any of it, would you? No, I don't think so. Absolutely yeah, not. Yeah. Um, so you know, a supportive team anywhere that that you go and um, is important. People need support, and um, you know. They've got to have people behind them who are happy to give of themselves. And, and I find how I keep inspired and how I keep moving forward and keep motivated is I find that I really enjoy inspiring people. So when people come to me and they're feeling a little bit down 
I get more enjoyment out of lifting them up and seeing them get all fired up and ready to go for it and, and burn the road up than what I do if I'm having success myself. And I know that might sound strange to a lot of people, but when I see other people succeeding just because I was able to say a few words that actually enjoyed, you know, brightened up their life and, and made them see the good points in themselves and made them say to themselves, well, yeah, yeah, I can do this. Sandra's right. I can do this. Um, yeah, that's where my inspiration comes from. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm sort of always in the background here behind all you guys going, that's really cool. That's really great. I love it. You know, you can try this, do this. <laughs> Jill knows I've been on private messages with Jill. Yeah. Jill's, Jill's my inspiration. When I get a little bit down, I just message Jill and Jill comes to me with some inspiration and motivation and, it, and it's really great. So that, that's what I love about the SFM and DEA community yeah. is the support. You've got to have a team behind you. You can't do anything on your own. I mean, no war was won by one person. You know, one person doesn't really run a country. It's the people in the country that run the country. I mean, you can think of the government as being the people who actually run the country, but they just handle the business behind things. You know, they do the cash flow chart and, you know, handle the money. It's actually the people in the country who run the country, uh, surprisingly enough. And Jill. Hmm? And Jill, yes. <laughs> I think the biggest thing... Yeah, the biggest thing for all of us here is, you know, if we could do it, we'd have done it by now. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we're all here because we want to do it and we want help and support in doing it. And that's that's the lovely part of it. That's what you've got. And as Sandra said, you know, we all support each other. We all help each other. And we all encourage each other. And, and in that, you've, you've got faith that you're in a safe environment. I think James just said it then. You know, he saw Sri get up and do that, and he thought, you know what, to hell with it. I'm, I'm just going to do it as well, because if he can do it, I can do it. That's what it's yeah. about. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Being a leader, getting it, doing, you know, leading from the front. You can, you can lead from behind all you want and, and bark orders, but when, when you lead from the front, everyone sees that you're doing it, everyone knows that you're doing it, and, it, and if you can do it, they can do it, and uh, it, it kind of dispels fear. You know, it, 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 it removes the, the sense of fear and the sense of, not knowing what the next step is because someone's there doing it in front of you, before you. And again, that's one of the critical, one of the most important reasons why you should have a mentor at every level of your business and life, I think, because someone knows what it's like to be on, to take that next step. And they've been there and they've done that where I may not know exactly what to do next and I'll just sit there and, and not do it out of fear. Um, but just by watching someone that's already done it and all they have to say is take that next step Trust me, the stairs are there. You know, there's another step there. And uh, Steve made a video the other day when he was in his truck and he was driving in the dark and he had the headlights Absolutely. on, which was really safe to do. But he's a trained professional. Yeah. And uh, he explained how, you know, you could, you, could, you could drive around with no lights on or, you know, you have to trust that, that the road is there. The yeah. road, you have to see beyond the lights and know that someone has been there before you and uh, and can get you there. So that, that, that was a really cool video. I mean, it was the same thing. It's just a video he just shot on his phone, but it was very, it had a lot of meaning to it and it was it was inspired and it was about him personally. So, yeah, definitely, man. So. I, I really support you on that, eh? Like, uh, that that's what makes our community uh, strong, you know? Like, if, if you're faltering or you need any help, you know, all you have to do is reach out and, uh, and it's there, you mm -hmm. know? And that's what makes uh, the SFM great. So, have you uh, all yeah. heard um, the caterpillar story? Jill, you yeah. have. You're shaking your head. The caterpillar is born, <laughs> and the first year he comes out and he eats, and then he goes into a freeze for a year, and he comes back out in the second year, and he eats for a little bit, and he goes back in for a freeze, and he keeps doing this for seven years. Fourteen years. Fourteen years. Fourteen this, years. This is, Fourteen years. This is a true, okay. this is a true so, story, by the way. Some, sometimes in the seventh year, yeah. he comes out, and somebody steps on him, or he gets run over. But you know what? Some caterpillars keep on going. And if they make it to the 14th year, they turn into a butterfly. But they is never that real? Is that the truth? Yeah, this is, yeah. This is, this is a real story about a uh, caterpillar in uh, Antarctica. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it lives for four, you know, 14 years, pretty much frozen its whole life, eating for a few days every year. And then um, it only lives for a few days uh, after 14 years when it finally comes out and turns into a uh, butterfly. And that's it. But, wow. you know, 
people persevered, you know, it kept, it, it kept going and that, that, that's a good attitude, huh? You yeah. got a lot more respect for caterpillars. Yeah, it'll take me yeah. 14 years to become a butterfly. I'm okay with that. That's amazing. <laughs> that is cool. Wow. So Scott, what is your, you're sitting back there all quiet there. Uh, what do you, where, where are you at with your, uh, with your business and the way things are going and, and how have you been inspired to keep going even when, when times are tough and you know, you don't see a light at the end of the tunnel? What, what's yeah. your take on that? I mean, yeah, I've just been taking in all the energy here. I mean, it's <laughs> amazing. Um, I think just backing up what Sandra said before about that support and having community, I think whenever you start something new um, and, and when it's something big, whatever it is in your life, you're going to be faced with negative energy in, in some ways, whether it's your friends, family, people telling you that you can't do it. Um, you know, it can come from nowhere sometimes and you just get hit and maybe you're not ready for it right at the start because um, it's something new and you're still unsure maybe at the very early stages. So having a community that you can sort of go to and um, sort of talk to and, and share what's happening and share experiences and see what's going on, I mean... It, it's a game changer, isn't it? It's uh, it really helps you sort of push forward. It inspires you, you know, when you see things like Shree. I mean, I watched his video and, and James. I, I felt exactly the same. I was like, blimey neck, I need to be doing something. And you know, uh, people are taking action. I'm sure all, all over the world do from from things like that. And yeah. you know, when you see things, and and Jill, I think you said it perfectly. You see somebody do something, and you think, well, you know. Why the hell can't I do it? You know, it inspires you to to, yeah. to do things, doesn't it? When you see other people <clears throat> making their breakthroughs, you're thinking, well, come on, stop with the excuses. You know, There's that somebody person's here. doing it. Somebody would like to say hi. Get in the chair. Who's this? Oh, hey! <laughs> hey! Hi, hey, Jay. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I hear well, you guys been having some fun over there this weekend, huh? This thing, is this a, is this a computer? It's a yeah, it's weird. What's up, Yuli? What's going on, buddy? Hey, Joe. Hi, Joe. James, what's up, dude? How you doing? I'm good. Yeah, Steve just dropped out. I think his computer took a poop, so I think he's trying to boot back up. <laughs> I saw that on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, these guys have been having... I don't know if they've been telling you or not, but this has been crazy awesome, right? Yeah. It's Michelle, she's like superwoman over here. Yeah, she was doing push-ups a second ago. <laughs> I believe I she lifted you up. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She lifted my spirit. This morning, was, was it this morning or yesterday you were like, I don't put my hand up ever? Yesterday. Yesterday at lunch? Yeah. Yeah, today she was like Jersey Shore fist pumping. <laughs> like, <down> there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> so is this like your team? Left hand. This is way more than the usual team hangout, but yeah. I'm having fun. Yes, I'm, I'm having fun. I, Look, shot my I didn't know I, if you wanted to see. I have, a, have one of these in my hand. I would love yeah. a Stella right now, so I'll take it. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 8 o'clock there, isn't it? Or 8.30-ish? Uh, yeah. About yeah. 8.30. Yeah. What happens now? I bet Jay hasn't been to bed since last night. <laughs> no, no, I um, <clears throat> I fell asleep last night. I went up to get my phone charger and fell asleep at like eleven. So I feel great. It's up at six thirty at the gym. Feeling Full good. Charge day. That was the first like full night of sleep I've had since I'm here. Awesome. So feeling good. How much longer you guys have there? Is it the rest of the rest of the week or? Tomorrow is the last. Yeah, day. tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. It's just me, me and these guys. So we're gonna have we're gonna have tomorrow's fun day. Wednesday, Wednesday right? No, Thursday. Wednesday. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be fun day. Awesome we're gonna we're just gonna have a blast. There's like no rules tomorrow. Go ahead. We might even drink during the day. Oh boy, good. These <laughs> 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 people are like such degenerates. We're gonna get we're gonna get sweet drink here too. It's over fine. Oh my gosh. You're no, changing changing Sri. Sri's changing by the second. He is. Gotta say, these guys. Yeah, yeah. I can't myself. Yeah, he walks around hugging himself. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 oh. Amazing. 
Canada's not going to know what to expect when he gets back. Yeah. I'm warming up. What happened to this freak? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Warm it up, yeah. Everybody's going to have to hug screen Starbucks. He might get removed. Yeah. <laughs> we can have a bouncer at, at Starbucks now. Yeah. <laughs> Have what? Yeah. A bouncer at Starbucks, he's going to be st hugging too many people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. A latte and a squeeze. Well, that's, that's okay. Because we can come down under because we just hug each other all the time. If you ever bothered to watch our football, our game yeah. of football, that's all we ever do. We hug each other. <laughs> that's all. We hug each other. Car racing, we hug each other. Out on the street, we hug each other. So is that the shrum? Is that what do they call it? A shrum? And, and tap each other on the ass as they're running around the uh, ground. Touch each other up. <laughs> That's why our guys wear pads, so you can't really touch them. <laughs> so Jay, uh, we were talking about breakthroughs and uh, inspiration and stuff like that. To you know, just to give you a little background of what we've been talking about for the last half hour or so. And uh, we, we've just been awful inspired by these guys like James and Sri and Michelle and everybody on this panel who's just has come like lately. It's like a it's like a breakthrough roller coaster. Everybody's just coming out and making videos and just going beyond their fears and and kind of yeah. you know just going beyond what they're expecting of themselves. Which is and, and you know and we're discussing how the community and, and you guys are a big part of that. So for that we congrat we, we want to say thanks. For uh, getting everybody off their butts and, and making them act, so yeah. I, I I I mean I, I don't mean this to be rubbing it in, but the breakthroughs happen because we are here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's true. Well, yeah. But we're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah, you're no. right. <laughs> well, it's it's a safe space, right? It's it safe, it's fun. It's like like yeah. minded people. Yeah. It's not. No, there's nothing no. to worry about. Yeah. Jay is and, fucking yeah, nice. And you're learning from the best. <laughs> the best you know what I mean? Yeah. It sometimes when you sit at home, sometimes you you don't get that uh, you know no. focused uh, teaching. But yeah. you know, so if you've never been to one of these events, um, I really hope you guys have. And yeah, it's the place where you're going to get the, the the most focus of your education. Mm. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's in my it's in my meta story. It's getting there. It's in my uh in my <laughs> like Come on, Punk. you Darth Vader. <laughs> it's a yeah, I tried to get me passport so I could go to one of those events, but the country wow. said that you know they didn't want to lose me because I might not come back if I left, so they wouldn't give me the passport. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they won't let me back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be worse. You guys have. So we've got black coming up, we've dates, and we've got the Australian dates pretty much locked. And it looks like we're going to be doing gold and possibly platinum down under there. Wow! There's an Australian uh, momentum day in Australia. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Sandra, who's coming? Oh, who's Sandra? Oh my coming? God! <laughs> the pressure's on. Shri is coming. Oh, <laughs> 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 You'll never get rid of him now. I'm not trying to find who, who do you have? It's just is it? Uh, it's Yuli Scott. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. Steve Greenberg was on there. What Steve. Yeah, he's trying to, trying to get his computer restarted. I think. Yeah. Oh, cool. Happened. I don't know. He just froze yeah. up and locked down. He was in his truck too long. He left it in his yeah. truck too long. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he drove over it. Yeah. So, James, what's your take on all of this, being new to these webinars? Me? Um, yeah, re really good. So, I just I love all the bands that, like I mentioned, I love the sort of like-minded um, mindset. You know, everyone thinks the same way. Everyone's here for a reason. And um, that community spirit, you just can't beat it, can you? Yeah. No, I don't think you can. I, I, I've yet to uh, experience that. So, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. This is cool. So, you guys do this every week? Every week. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. We have yeah every week. I have one, and then he, he follows up with his. We have two per day on Tuesdays. Yeah. So, what you should do is like yeah. invite the community to watch you just sit around and have fun. I'll do that. Never and they can just, and then you can work on your presentation skills while you're at it. Yeah. 
It'd be awkward. That's the whole at idea. First. Everybody's invited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But don't let them participate. Just you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They can just watch you yeah. just screw around. Yeah. yeah. That's how you learn how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Make yeah. an ass of yourself. Well, you as soon as I saw, um, yeah, I saw James doing his first video, and I had to. I just thought that's it. He's he's on, man. He is on this hangout, and I just reached out and I said, "Hi, James, SFM mutual member." Can you come on board, please? We'd love to speak to you. And he was like, yeah, I'm there. Oh, <laughs> and then suddenly, suddenly he comes out and he says, oh, I, I've uh, got together with it, with Chris. We're going to be a partnership. Suddenly there was a Facebook page. Suddenly there was like, whoa, and momentum was just like rocking. Wow. That's I was what actually, rock stars I, I, I thought we've got to have him on. We can have that. I was actually sat in work in my Brilliant. normal job doing Brilliant, all guys. that. Brilliant. <laughs> James, what do you got in the yeah. office there? You've got speakers, a sound case, a DJ. Are you a DJ? Yeah, so I'm going to teach Guy and Elan how to DJ on this. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's a bit of kit. Eh? I think you can probably yeah. see on the wall. I've got some. Um, got that for me, Chris. I'll show you a little something now. Um, I've got 81 days left in the military, and this is my countdown. Nice. Uh, awesome. You can be the resident DJ. I, I'm Yo. not such a DJ. I don't know how it takes. The, they were playing some tunes the other day at the, at the bar, and I was like, what is that that cricket music or whatever they were playing? <laughs> I was like, what? And then Christian was hilarious. Remember, he was kept changing. Were you there? Yeah. Were you, yeah. I saw the video. And you saw the video. Oh. Was it like this, Jay? <laughs> 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 Just, just the other day, he wouldn't even get in front of a camera. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Just so, wait until I break out. So James. <laughs> What's the control? James, you're going to finish your 90-day challenge just after you finish the military? Wow. Yeah. So um, me and Chris have been having um, some talks about uh, what our target audience is and um, who we relate to and people who are going through massive change in their life, especially people who've spent, you know, nine, ten plus years in any particular job. And um, we think it'll be fantastic to put that on our page because it's showing the day-to-day -day transition from one job to the next, or not a job, basically, um, and making a life-changing yeah. moment. So we think it'll be really beneficial. That's awesome. Well, James, all Chris has got to do is take off his shirt, and I guarantee you, your new smile. I told you, that's the video and marketing. Sandra will be the cheerleader. <laughs> I, I give think there might be a big competition. Give us an H, give us an <laughs> I, mean, I fancy the competition against Stuart. Joe, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you moved already to DC? Are you moved? When do you move? What's that? Uh, well, we, I've, got to wait, I've got to wait for some surgery now, Jay, so I'm going to have to put it on hold for two months. Okay. All right. Well, hey. I've got a bit of um, But I'm going to be there. Don't you worry. I'll be there. We need a momentum day worried. there. I'm not worried. We're, we're waiting for that shift. For, once Jill gets in the U.S., there'll be momentum days U.S. all day long. I've actually oh, talked yeah. to Steve <laughs> and... Uh, Steve has inspired me to talk to a few people here in the U.S. and maybe try to put something together. So, we we de we yeah we could yeah. easily add yeah. a set of events East Coast. Maybe we should do that around Black. No, we have Golden Platinum over here. We're gonna run out of days to have all this fun. Yeah, well that's what it's all about having a little fun. Hey, all right. So I gotta run, but yeah. Dan said something today which I thought was really cool. The thing that I took away from today was that people we, we're attracted to attention, like. We're attracted to. Oh, how the hell do you say it? We're afraid of. Not attention, but we we need attention. We need yeah, attention, we need, but we're afraid of it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like. We love it. Yeah. yeah we, we love, love it, but we're afraid. Of we're afraid of it. Afraid of it. Yeah. yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like we watch like Paris Hilton and like Lindsay Lohan just like love to like watch them self destruct. It's like we love to give it, but we don't. Oh, we don't want to have it. We'd love to it's hear just, our name mentioned. He was saying that yeah. we, we, we love attention. Um, 
uh, we're 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 afraid to we're we're, um, we're not afraid to get up in the limelight. Um, it's just that we're not used to it, so it takes yeah. repetition to get you there. That's what it's yeah. saying. Yeah. So you know, the more you do it, the more you do like a ninety-day challenge or something like that. Then you know you're gonna you're gonna get up more and more and put yourself in front of everyone, and increase your marketing, make yourself more confident. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, Brad had a real breakthrough today, right? Didn't he? Was it? He did awesome. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Who was that? Yeah. Uh, one of the yeah. platform members, Brad and Mar. Yeah. yeah. We were at the, worked out this morning at the gym, and we were talking about it. And I was like, "Listen, dude, it's." Because he was talking about Awesome Fest, you know, Awesome Fest yes. is that fest, that yeah. thing. He's like, "Oh, you should speak there." I'm like, "No, you should speak there." And he's like, <laughs> "Okay." And I'm like, "Dude, you're seriously, you're a Vox member. Why don't you set that as a 24 month goal to be like invited to speak at Awesome Fest?" Mm. And I'm like, "You're not know a train, right? You train." He's like, "Really fit." And you don't just go to the gym one day and you're fit. You got to work on it daily. These are muscles. They're skills. Mm. There's awesome no difference. Yeah. It's like a Internet marketing slash. This is awesome fest. Yeah, this is awesome <laughs> fest. <laughs> this is really what it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it's true. It's building the muscle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, awesome, Jay. Thanks so much for stopping by. That's uh, that's awful kind of you. And uh, the reason for this community is you and Stuart putting it all together and, and knocking it out of the box. So, from yeah. us to you, thank you very much. Well, there's Steve. Steve's back. Yeah. Uh, Steve. buddy. He was trying to avoid you. Yeah. He uh, hit Jay. Steve. Uh, yeah, I'm back on the internet. I'll I'm, I'll get back to them tomorrow. That's impressive, buddy. No, what's impressive is the video of driving down that road and turning the lights off. Yeah. Yes, I was like, holy shit, don't do that again ever, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice disclaimer on your post. <laughs> video, train professional. <laughs> don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Closed circuit. Yeah. <laughs> professional oh, driver. Exactly. <laughs> Did it get the point across, though? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we actually talked about it today a little bit. That that's a that's a great point to have. Great, great imagery, everything. Yeah, that was that was brilliant. Really Good like analogy. But anyway, I gotta I gotta run. I'm like half an hour late for my last. Nice point. to see you. All right, thanks, Jay. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on the call. So awesome. Oh, so so excited. Tomorrow's gonna be a blast too. Yeah. My hey, where's your hug? <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> what is it that you're saying? Cool little treat. Way to set that up there, Sri. That's uh, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, Sri. It it's was great somebody else. Uh, it wasn't my original idea. Some One of you has brought that up. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Steve, yeah. I believe. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good. That's, uh, that's, that's no, no, actually don't, we need to be showing people that the community is, even, even the leader, the top dogs of the community are completely approachable and that there's no, and you know, it's just they're not sitting on their high horse or on their podium. They're... They're people, and they're people that are going to teach us to be exactly what they're doing. And they want us to do exactly what they're doing. They want us to be independent of them and, and be able to run with the horses, like you said about the Austin Fest. Just you know, get, get out there and start doing the training and start working on yourself so you can be in that position as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, they're really easy. They're really approachable people. And, um, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, Australia is you where you guys going to be. Smiling, you? Yeah, that, that oh, Australia sounds yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we're going up down here in Australia. <laughs> We've got uh, some Aussies moving up through the ranks. Little Marie Santos, look at her. She's on the leaderboard. Yeah, board. my God. Super star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, uh, I'll tell you a little thing that I've got out of this, this weekend. Hey, like, uh, you guys probably relate to it, but... Uh, you know, I was sort of sitting at home for a long time, um, you know, going okay, and um, it wasn't until I came here, and it actually blew a lot of things that I was doing out of the water, and I'm now going to have to go back to the um, back yeah. to the the board and and re-strategize and move off off in a different direction, you know. So if I hadn't come here, uh, I, w I wouldn't be going off in this direction. But uh, like seriously, so the penny has just dropped. 
you know, something's clicked, and uh, yeah, that, that's what you get out of this, you know. So if you if you end up spending the money on a on an SFM membership at any level, you know, it's it's worth coming along to yeah. these things, you know, to spend yeah. the extra little bit of money, it, it, you'll make it back by by you know stepping in that right direction, hey. Yeah, I mean, you're learning from the. It's like learning from the people who drew up. It's learning how to drive a car by the guy who invented the car. You know, you're you're yep. learning from the people that have actually put the vision together, put everything together. Who knows it better than they do? Who knows how to a market the the system, use the system, and build the system better than the actual engineers of the system? Yeah. So I mean, it's it's an invaluable lesson that you guys are have the opportunity to to address. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yuli, we all have that hesitation about spending that kind of money, you know, to step up to gold, platinum, and you, you tend to want to pull back. But when you attend these events, it's like 100 times more valuable than what we paid for it. It's really unbelievable, the content. I, I'm blown away by what we learned here. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, definitely. The, the event itself is worth more than what we paid for the membership, just this one event. And every yeah. event would be just free after that, and it'll just keep adding to the value. Mm. People just need to know that what we pay for, this is not a get-rich-quick or make-money-quick scheme. This is your life, your digital life that's ahead of you, yeah. and it's going to be with you forever. And this is an investment, not an expense. Mm. And people need to realize that and appreciate that. Sorry. I mean, I listened to Jay do a, a, just a, a talk to the group, like a private talk, I cried. Stuart came up. He did a little private talk to us from the heart. I cried. I spent so many hours here with tears flowing down my face of joy. It's so emotional, the breakthroughs. These, mm. these guys are so genuine. It's just mm. awesome. I, yeah, that's definitely awesome. Yeah, yeah. But then again, you know, like we said earlier, it's, it's like like... Having the, the the hesitation to do that and take that next step, it's a lot easier once you see other people doing it and other. I mean, you know, you guys aren't, you know, you're not paid marketers to sit here and tell us how an amazing how amazing an event this was. You're there saying how amazing this is from your heart, from your experience. You're not selling it to us. You're just telling us exactly what you're experiencing, and that's that's exactly what a lot of people have to hear in order to to make that next step or take that next step is is seeing someone that's done it before them. And that's what you guys are. You you guys are all you guys that have been to these events are pretty much in that space. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and you guys you guys are well on your way to attending a gold platinum, and I can't wait. We're gonna be right there watching you. Three so can't stop smiling. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's hugged a hundred people today. Yeah. He just walked down the hallway and hugged some more people. Yeah, he's got that much energy. You, you know what it is? I'm just loving my life right now. That's all it is. Okay, and I'm all proud it of you. is. I'm proud of you. That's that awesome. One, that one small 90 day challenge, which I did for a very selfish reason of doing it for myself, when I came here and I saw that people were recognizing it and that somehow it inspired them, which wasn't the primary intention of why I did it. But now I know that it's inspiring others. I'll continue to do it because we need to spread this. We are leaders and we are supposed to lead by example. And I've just learned it in a very real human way. That's cool. Yeah. That was our takeaway. We're all leaders. You guys, you're leaders for showing up here. Having webinars, you're, we're all on our way. Yeah, that's it. And you know, when you, uh, you know, there's many people out there that are come into your business and you'll be like, you know, you're, you're, you're greater than, you know, uh, 10% of the people out there, you know, so even if you're, you know, you're not like Jay Kubasak or, uh, you know, um, Daniel Wagner or Stuart, you know, you're you're still the expert in your field. If you, if you just spend a little bit of time listening to some other people, getting on some webinars or something like that and, and, and posting, um, you know, people will stop and listen. You're <laughs> a funny dude. And I was happy to learn that it's like 80-90% of all our members are introverts. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Really? yeah. You're rare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're introverts. How about that? <laughs> you gotta love it. That's pretty wow. cool. 
You guys are absolutely killing it. I mean, so th this plays right along with what we're talking about this today and this week on Google Hangout is the inspiration and just breakthroughs. And it seems like you guys have just been just breaking through every every possibility that you guys can yeah. be doing, and, that, and that's awesome. I'm surprised the hotel is still standing. <laughs> that you're what? I said I'm surprised the hotel is still standing. Yeah. <laughs> you're breaking everything here. <laughs> Allowed to break rules. <laughs> so, um, do, do you guys want a few tips that we've been learning from this weekend? I yeah, mean, I would. I would I'd venture to say yes. Yeah, that, that, that's what. That's what we're all here for. You know, you guys. You guys are here on this call, so you guys deserve to uh, know a bit. Um, oh, let's all give them a tip that we've learned from this weekend. One of the one of the best ones that I've learned right is. Um, okay, let's take Facebook. Uh, uh, create. Create. Uh, a good relationship with your followers, you know, don't try and smash them with sales. Um, and uh, video marketing, like for me, you know, video marketing is probably the best thing, like, you know, it's going to increase your sales probably by about 80% because you're putting yourself out there, you know, on, on film. There, there's really nothing more powerful than, than that. So, yeah, I mean, make some... I'd suggest make some forward steps towards like what Shree's doing, 90 day video challenge. Um, how are you guys doing your Facebook advertising? Like, do you do right hand columns or news feed? I, I do, I do both. both. I, I split test. I do um, news feed, right hand column, and then I'll test, um, then I'll have another ad because I do three in one. Then I'll have yeah. just one going on the right hand side, and then I'll have another one going in just the news feed. So when okay. I do an ad, it, it's a three way thing. Yeah, right. For, uh, for SFM, I, I just do news feed now. Yeah, that's why we were yeah, told to that, do news feed. That, that, that's it. News feed, like, all the way. And make yeah. use of the, the, of the power editor. Um, yeah. There's yeah, a lot of tools in there that will uh, increase your click through rate uh, when you create your ads. Yeah, definitely newsfeed all yeah, the way. Yeah, the power editor is also when um, add your, your call to action button. Stuart um, ran an ad yes. the other day in the newsfeed with a call to action button on it. In the power yeah. editor is where you need to go to add your call to action on your newsfeed ads, and you need mm. to run it as a dark post. Mm. Yeah, right. Okay. Absolutely. Interesting. I've never used a power editor. I'm interested to use that. I. Is that just a feature that's on on ads? Well, um, you I, know what we should do. We should all try this out for the next six days and talk about it on the seventh day as a webinar. Yeah, that'll be powerful value content mm. to our listeners. Yeah, really good point. Up. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it will be powerful content. Um, yeah, yeah, especially for people who haven't used the power editor and how to use it. That's uh, I've fun. literally just started running an ad. Um, which is a long newsfeed ad with one of the CTA buttons um, in it, uh, and, and that started awesome. two days ago. So literally, if we're, we're going to talk about wow. that next week, I'll have some results to share. Oh, that'd be awesome, Scott. Yeah. Cool. Do it. I love it. But everybody should do it. <laughs> yeah, that's what these are all about, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you mind if I share something that I learned over the weekend? I'm turning yep. Go for it, James. Um, yeah, there was um, one big thing um, that uh, Guy and Elam were putting emphasis on, and that was in the importance of tracking and having basically a good name and convention oh, yeah. for your tracking. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I'm relatively new to this, and I don't have that many um, links and all the rest of it at the minute, but if you're dealing with 150 links and if your data isn't tracked, how do you know what your traffic, where it's coming from? Um, so that was a big thing they put a lot of emphasis on, and that's what I took away from it. Yeah, I, I think Not tracking is really I, I a post the other day on tracking, and um, I learned it from one of the master marketing courses. That that's it's the only way to do it. And like they say, if you're not tracking, you're not marketing. You're not marketing. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, right. True. Yeah, you can yeah. you can throw a whole bunch of money out there. And say the system doesn't work because you're not using the facilities. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you don't go it. anywhere. You don't learn from it. And, uh, you know, no. face, face to track. And Stuart said one thing. Pardon? Oh, sorry, I lost you there, Sandra. I said that's where simple track comes in. 
Yeah. Another tool, yeah. slide yeah. this from the of SM. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a digital business lounge, a simple tracker, and then you can put a rotator in there. I mean, you know how powerful it is to, and I just did this on a solo ad, how powerful it is to, to have one link in your solo ad, and then it rotates through three, if you're sending enough traffic to it, it rotates through three landing pages, and then you get equal amount of, uh, you, you, you have equal, equal amount of views and hits on that landing page, and then you just see which one converts, and then you start taking one off, and then you use that one more. It's... I mean, that's brand new to my marketing uh, arsenal, and it's been, I mean, the information that I gathered just from that off of one solo ad makes it w worth the price of admission. It's just an incredible aspect yeah. of the digital business lounge. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and, and, if you know, and if you know how fast this technology is going on with DBL, uh, there, there's some amazing changes coming. I mean, we, even we don't know about it, but I've heard, I have heard a sneak, uh, I have had a sneak peek at Jay and Stu talking webinar jam that we are looking at right now, we might have something similar in DBL. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's things, things, are going, things are going at an amazing speed. I mean, if they see something is working and clicking, they want it in DBL. That's how fast yeah. they're taking action. That's so great. If, if awesome. people are not in SFM, DEA, or DBL, they'll be left behind big time. Yeah, and Jay and Stu want to know if there's any plugins that you need. They want to know. Because it's going to be available in the DBL. Yeah, Is that's it? crazy. Yeah. The, the amount of work and time and that putting into that uh, into the digital business lounge is is phenomenal. And, and the best part, you get it with the Six Figure Mentors membership. You get it for free. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Premium yeah. at premium level too. Yeah. 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 No, I I had a guy come back to me. I bought a domain yesterday in DBL. And um, I went on to my email today, and I, I had an email of a guy, and he just gave me this complete sales pitch. I can build your website. I can build you this. I can give you that. I can give you that. I won't charge you this. Won't charge. And it was huge email. And I thought, you know what? Enough already. <laughs> I just wrote him a little email. I said, dear Patrick, I really love your kindness, warm show towards me, but I really think that you should check this out. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, we have the complete platform. Everything is in this for you. We are professional people. <laughs> and I said, if you want to know more, come back to me. <laughs> I, I thought it was quite funny. Yeah, you, you should have given him a click yeah. off your landing page. Yeah. Well, I yeah, yeah, actually put your landing page. Yeah, well, I actually thought to myself, if you're that serious, you'll come back and want to know more. If you're not professional, you won't waste my time. Yeah, that's it. You know, like, push them, you know. Yeah. Sometimes uh, I've got a, uh, a list yeah. that's um, I've sent out to a whole load of, you know, I, I got my list via solo ads, right, and they're, 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 it's useless. So I'm just going to hammer the hell out of that list. I'm, I'm just, doing that. I'm just going to... You know, like pump heaps of emails through to them, um, really push the sale, you know. So obviously you don't do that for, for, for good leads, you know, but if you have a list that's not responsive or no. it's just been sitting there for a long time, they're, they're, they're probably not going to do anything. So, you know, just, just hammer them. You know, that's yeah. another tip we've got That's now. a great point. You're better off having them unsubscribe than... Yeah, yeah that's it, them. you know. Yeah, yeah, they've been sitting there that long, they're probably not yeah. that interested and uh, maybe one or two might be or whatever, but, you know... Yeah, by pushing the list, you know, yeah, you'll... Yeah. You know, I mean, out. Yeah. They, they said if your list is not missing you, then you're missing your list. Oh, that's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> yeah. Did I? yeah. That's great. So, so keep sending them emails, keep sending them autoresponders and broadcasts, and stop for a couple of days. If they don't get back to you as to what's happened, that means they're not interested. Mm -hmm. So just get them off your list. And, yeah. and we found out, for those of you who don't have a list... It's okay, you're not going to need one. We've got a secret tool called a scraper. Well, it does a scraping. I don't know if you heard it or not, but oh, baby, we got a lot to share. Wow. With you. Something is coming. <laughs> yeah, there's something yeah. powerful yeah. coming. You can... You'll be able to scrape thousands and yeah. <laughs> put them in your G. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Guy and Alarm was saying the other day. I use a tool similar to that, Michelle. Um, Oh, you know, yeah, Sandra, I'm not until similar to that. Um, I up. Oops. What was that, Michelle? It's it's an it's oh. 
Yeah, that's me. It's in my notes. I don't even know the name of the tool. I'm just kind of telling you what we learned briefly right now. We'll we'll yeah. tell you more about it. Guy and Elon has shared it. It's part of the goal training. Yeah, yeah. I picked up I picked up a tool um, a couple of uh, oh, about two months ago. I was on a training with Ryan Dice, um, and I was led to a scraping tool for Facebook and a few other things called Audience Maker. And you can actually scrape um, Facebook was IDs and was stuff yeah. like that, fan pages yeah. and groups and, and different things, so that you can build an actual list of uh, of t people that you want to target market to for your niche. But so, exactly, yeah, um, exactly. And uh, what guy in uh, Alarm was Audience saying maker. the other uh, Yeah, or oh, yeah, that was it. That uh, what did you call it? Audience maker. Hmm. Audience maker, yeah. yeah, I've had it for two months now. Yeah, that that was the uh, tool that they were talking, and it scrapes the the Facebook, yeah, the UID, not their email, ID, but yeah. their ID. But he was saying that their you ID. can use you can use it in a few different ways. Like, right, he said you can scrape the ID of like a celebrity or somebody that's, that's famous or whatever, and um, send, have a little code or something. Yeah, send them out. Uh, you basically you get them onto your onto your as a follower, and um, you oh. you have access to their whole followers. Yeah, somehow. you've got you can get access to all their followers, and the idea yeah. is to, to get uh, that celebrity to to comment back to you, and all their all their followers <laughs> come across and start like getting to know who you are. Woo! So, um, I'm yeah. there. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah, you can <laughs> you can do that with Audience Maker, and I was so lucky that I got invited to a very private webinar with Ryan Dice. Michelle Pescolito and a couple of other industry leaders, and because I actually accepted that invite and went to that um, that hangout with those guys, I got in early. I found out about the audience maker and how to use it and stuff, and I was actually given the tool for free because I was on that webinar. So I've been utilising it for the last two months now, and it's fantastic. It awesome? I love it. I would I would <laughs> love to learn more from you about that one, uh, Sandra. They learned that from Guy and Elon. <laughs> <laughs> he teaches them. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So Chris, what's up? You haven't said much over there. How are you doing over there? I'm just chilling, listening to you guys and living the dream, really. If anybody is quiet, that's Scott. He hasn't spoken a word. Who's that? Scott Taylor McCormick. Scott. I have yeah. become an expert, I have become an expert pusher of people. Yeah. Scott's a Scott's a sneaky one back there. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> Don't let Scott's uh, quiet uh, pe uh, his quiet demeanor fool you. As as I said earlier, taking yeah. in all this energy. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Just as I started speaking, it <laughs> would. I I, well, I remember having a uh, conversation with you, Scott. I, I'm it's just coming to me. We we were chatting for a while on um, email, weren't we? Were we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was going back quite a while. I think you've got in contact with me through the forum. Um, uh, I'm. I live in Australia. Um, Jay Mansfield. I don't know if you uh, remember. Oh yeah. I was. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I branded myself as me and my partner, which I've now broken up with. Um, so yeah, it was uh, Jason and Hannah back then. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't know if you remember. But, do you yeah. go? Um, was it fishing trawling that you do? Uh, work of? offshore on a offshore. On a, on a, yeah, on yeah. Because I remember you said literally you're going to be away for like three months or something. Yeah. Oh, three weeks at a time. Yeah. Oh, three weeks. That's, that's the challenge that I've had with, with my business. Yeah, because I go away, like everything literally stops for three weeks. But, I remember. Uh, yeah, we had a we had a great conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's you good to play. Good to put a uh, face to the name anyway now, so... Well, uh, it didn't click until you, you said that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I thought. That's why I thought, oh, I better, better say something, you know? So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep in contact. Absolutely. Awesome. We'll follow up just, on that. Just another benefit for these Hangouts. I mean, these things, you know, yeah. just so everybody knows, we're not, we're, we're not all, you know, we're not all completely associated. We, we know each other randomly. We meet new people on these all the time. Our community continues to grow, and, and that's how we... We, we, we become stronger. And, uh, yep. So it's been really cool. This has been a really cool experience. Today's been especially awesome meeting yeah. new people. 
Yeah, definitely. It really has, yeah. That's yeah. why I got involved. So, uh, how often do you guys meet? Once a week, is it? And it's not like a like a, a country hangout. It's just uh, something that you guys have put together. Yeah, we just Scott and I decided about 16 weeks ago, actually, exactly to uh, exactly, put something yeah. together where we would uh, just do this, just chat, and then have guests on, and it's grown from there. You know, we've adopted Jill and Steve as uh, as uh, regulars, <laughs> yep. and. Uh, and, you know, we keep bringing on new guests and new, and we just share content every week. We have a new topic, and it, it's basically it just goes through. We just do this every Tuesday. Yeah. Do you guys call it anything? You know, to brand it to the new people that are coming in, or yeah, it's called letting it all hang out. It was letting yeah. it all hang out with Scott and Yuli, but we're kind of growing a little bit, so I oh, love it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so if, check if, it each week, yeah. I have a question for you guys. If Jill and Steve are regulars, who am I? Irregular. You are. <laughs> you're becoming a regular. You're a. Uh, you know you're you you are our special guest still. You still get to be called a special guest. You you become a regular three when when we all yeah. get a hug. Guests, yeah. guests are not family. I'm not a guest. <laughs> no, you are you are you are family. You are a regular, and okay. Sri is a regular yeah. as well. Thank you. And Sandra's See becoming how, a regular, and everybody's becoming a regular. Yeah. <laughs> We're all I'm really being, regular. We love our time. Oh, sorry. And I'll be on next week with you. I'll there show you up. Yeah. yeah I mean, these are great. Hey, guys. Can you handle this madness, Yuli? Uh, I I can handle this. On madness. a weekly basis. I can. I, I look yeah. forward to this. I encourage this madness on a weekly basis. If, if this happens on you a weekly do. basis. You do. You started it all. <laughs> I encourage it. Isn't it awesome how yeah. we help each other? I love yeah. it. I mean, I, I get well, I after the competition aspect of, of online marketing, and I understand that competition of, you know, we're in the same community. There's, you know, I want to get that link. I want to get that lead. I want to get that. But it's, once you start thinking about the, there's billions of people out there. And mm -hmm. like Steve, and we've talked yeah. about this in the past, there's people that are going to resonate with me. There's people that are going to resonate with Jill or Chris or James or Jay or Michelle or Sandra or Sri, and they're not going to resonate with, with anybody else. So there's really no competition because you're the only you. And as long as we help each other grow, the community grows. Whether or not they're with you or, you know, on your team or not on your team, it's, it seems as though if someone wants to hang out with me and, and be part of my team, that's who I want. I don't want someone that's going to be different than, that different than me because I won't know how to relate to them. Yeah, so, man. Just, just let them go if they want to go, and uh, get along with the people that that I that you are going to get along with. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if I don't want to have a drink with you, I probably don't want to work with you. So. Yeah. That's not true. I don't drink, but I would like to work with you. Okay, I I I I'll drink. <laughs> <laughs> but you you'll sit down at the table and have a Starbucks with me. Jay, Jay told him that he's going to have a drink tomorrow. You guys are going to drink all day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. And wow. guess what? If somebody is putting up me to your challenge, I'm doing it. Yeah. Well, I got a challenge for you. You got to get into yeah. that next dance party video. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I have, a, I have a lovely wife. I don't need that. Yeah, and then Chris, Chris and James are DJ in the background. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> All right, well, um, we, we usually like to keep these under an hour. I know we had some uh, awesome content today, and we've had some great guests and great regulars and, and friends and family, and the community has just been extremely active today um, <laughs> with with, uh, with the EA event in England. We, luckily, we had a couple people stop in from there, um, so thanks for that. So I, if, if it's cool with everybody, I think we should wrap it up here, um, but I, I'd like to have everybody say a couple last words. Um, let's start with uh, Chris and James over there. You guys have any last words? Um, no, just want to thank you, really. Thanks for the nice. opportunity. Look forward to um, select the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a bit bright. it's a bit bright in here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, no, no, so, yeah, from me. Just, I'm looking. I'm going back to what you were saying earlier. I'm looking forward to the competition, to be honest, and uh, and also yeah. just gaining as much community knowledge as we can, and, and kind of doing this on a regular basis. Awesome. Well, that's it from me. Yeah. Well, thank, thanks for stopping by, James. 
Yeah, same goes. Um, like, like I say, you'll be hearing from me every day if you catch up on my videos. Um, and I'm sure you'll see how we're getting on, and uh, we look forward to hearing how everyone else is getting on as well. Oh, I'm going to look at it all right. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you got a remote control for you, Sheree, or not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where there? Use my phone. My remote control is with Jay and Stu. We do you all, Sheree. Yeah, you can't keep quiet. You can't mute him. Jill, how about you? Any last words? <laughs> oh, actually, first, first of all, James and Chris, how does uh, anybody watching this? How do they get in touch with you guys? How do they, uh, how do they find you? Your website, yeah, yeah. anything like that? So we've just done a new Facebook account. We opened it today. Um, we're obviously trying to get people out and and uh, invite friends onto that. That's Chris and Jay. That's the Facebook account there. Uh, the Twitter account is Chris and Jay SFM. Um, and yeah, that's the easiest way, I think. Cool. Good. Okay. Welcome back, Steve. Jill, how about you? Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, good, good. We're wrapping up here. We're just getting a couple last words in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, anybody who's who's actually watching this can actually see the whole range of different people from different backgrounds, ages. Every every person actually can do this business. It says, obviously, do you want to do this business? And if you do, you're never going to have to be on your own. Uh, that was the fear that I had. Oh, could I do this on my own? You know, everybody is there to help you, and um, you know, everybody's reachable. If you're teachable, we're reachable. That's it, really. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Pretty good. That's a good point. Good point. And Jill, how do people get hold of you? Uh, well, I'm on uh, Twitter. Can I just say, um, last time that we listened to Marie Santos. Something very, very big went off in my mind, thinking, oh, she's contacted, she's reached out and talked to somebody. I've actually done the same this week, and I've had a reply today off a professional women's network that want me to start blogging, and they're quite happy for me to do my advertising in their group. That's awesome. Good. Congratulations. Yeah, that's Thank really you. Good. Breakthroughs <laughs> yeah, are there's, there's 12 and a half. Yeah, twelve and a half thousand women in that group. So, hey, that's good. Who knows? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Sandra, how about you? Any last words? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just uh, thanks for having me on um, the hangout this week. It's been really, really great. There's a lot of really, really valuable um, tips and gold nuggets in there for everyone. I love the fact that we talked about inspiration and uh, and breakthroughs. That was um, that was fantastic. It's really helped me a lot. It's uh, it's inspired me in the middle of my week, being Wednesday and all. So uh, it, it it gives me that fire, that energy to drive through to the end of the week. So um, I, I'm really excited to get in there. Um, and yeah, really, when you come and join our business community in the SFM and the DEA, you know, you, you may be in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. Um, you know, so always look for a support network in whatever you decide to do in life. Um, it, it's very, very important for you to be able to progress forward. And you need to <laughs> <laughs> And you can contact me on Facebook. I'm on Google Plus, or just Google my name, and you'll find me there. Awesome. Good deal, Sandra. Scott. Yeah, um, I mean, I can't really add much to it today. It's been it's been really good. At, all I can just say is, um, if you know you're watching it and you you've got the the energy basically that's going on uh, at these guys at the, the gold event uh, or the platinum event now, um, you can just see the the energy emitting from them even as they the, the stood there now, and I can relate. Them. <laughs> I can re relate to it because um, I, I attended the the one last October, and you walk away from one of those events after meeting these like-minded people. You're getting in a room with just professionals teaching you exactly what you need to know. Um, it's just amazing. So anybody that you know has these goals and you know is is thinking about doing such a thing, you know they need to get in a community, and and they need to start attending these events because you can see what it does um, and it inspires and makes you do these breakthroughs. So, uh, yeah, that's all I can really say. If anybody's watching me 
on my page. Um, what I've done today is I've put a little email button underneath. So if you click that, it'll open up an email, and you can literally shoot us an email straight away. Um, I'll be very happy to introduce you to any of these people, you know, even if it's not myself. Um, and Facebook, you know, just Google my name. I'll pop up somewhere. It's pretty unique. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> Steve, uh, sorry you had to bump out there. What are you going to last words now that your internet's working again? Um, I, I I just can't say anything that hasn't really been said. And for I think the the most poignant thing tonight, and I'm sorry I missed it. What you have to understand about Jay Kubizak is he's just spent five years producing that film. That's his real reason for for existing. And he has chosen to come and spend a weekend with 40 people in this community rather than attend the premiere of his first yeah. film. Yeah. And if that, doesn't yeah. His party, yeah. and if that doesn't express what a genuine guy Jay Kubizak is, he cares more about us than he does about the $100 million he's invested in a film. Yeah. And I think that speaks volumes about the man. And Stuart is exactly the same. And I think if you understand that, and if you go and you meet them and you look them in the eye, they're unflinching. And they are so supportive. Stuart put me in a corner on Saturday night and he had me in tears. And I can't share why, but he validated the last two years' work that I've put in. And I have never in my entire life had that sort of compliment okay and no these pressure. guys know they know all right if anybody wants to get in if anybody wants to see the effect spending a day and a half with Stuart Ross and Joe Kubizak has in less than two days I've published over seven videos but they are really niche specific completely specific. And the point about these guys is everything I've done in the past has been this very general stuff that is applicable to everybody. What was it that Ilan said, Siri? You need a thousand people. You just need one thousand people to follow you. That is yeah. it. That's it. Leave, 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 do you, you have seven billion population on this planet. All you need is one thousand like minded yeah. people, and yeah. this will grow into a movement on its own. Yeah, exactly. And so my ability or my whole life is now focused down into people that I speak their language and I've thrown that I've left that on the table for the last two years so bluecollarmillionaires.com that's where I am that's what I do and people that talk my language will come and talk with me okay cool and thanks so much for me on I'm sorry technicality's got in the way but people need to understand that even old people like me can do this and yeah, good on Steve. And uh, yeah, keep, keep yeah. that attitude, man. And you'll, uh, you know, you'll you'll attract the people that you want that are going to uh, raise you up to where you want to be. Hey, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What about you guys at the event? What about uh, a couple last words, man? Let us know how we can find you on Facebook, your websites, how people can track you down, hunt you down, yeah. and stalk you. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm. Uh, you, you can find Jason Mansfield on GQ cover next month. <laughs> Big hug. We just had our photo. We just had our photo shoots today. Sure, nice. we standing right next to me, I think. Oh yeah. wow! I can't wait to see them. Cool. Isn't that photographer good? <laughs> oh, he's he's lovely. He's such a freak. He's real good. He cracks you up with his He's really good. Do um do, do, do some of you guys know about the um the new stuff coming out from the SFM at the moment? There's there's like a, a new boot camp coming that's going to be you know a lot more powerful than the one that we've that we've already got. Um, and they're always adding more. More products. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like um, just a few, a few facts and figures that they were throwing at us the other day is like uh, each member that comes on board is worth four thousand dollars. So 
you know, when you go and advertise and you're, you're worried about spending a little bit of money here, there, you know, just remember that, you know, each... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to clarify that, the lifetime value of that membership to you as the person that brings them in. That's not total uh, value. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so so each member that you bring in um, is a probably going to average out at about four thousand dollars a person. Yeah, that's what that's the statistics they worked out. Having yeah. said that, just one second because we are getting into numbers now. I got to give the income disclaimer. Everything yeah. here is atypical. It depends solely on your <laughs> own results of operations. Yeah, and don't take anything from what we said. Your results will be completely different based on your efforts. And if you put in your efforts, it can be more. If you put it on the fence, it'll be zero. So exactly, don't go by these numbers. Yeah, yeah exactly. Go ahead, Jason. Um, uh, this is <laughs> why do you keep calling him Jason? What's that? What? Say that again. Did <laughs> Jason? Yeah, no, it's just the way Siri says it. Uh, <laughs> gonna come out in jeans and a t-shirt in a minute. Go on, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you look smitten, Steve. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, you're blocking this, Steve. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sitting cl too close to the camera. Um, <laughs> does everyone know Lee and, Lee and Tammy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're my upline anyway, and um, when they came on, they, they, their website wasn't you know, crash hot. Do you know what? They haven't changed their blog in like months and months. Um, you know, so just go to show you that, you know, because sometimes when you're sitting at home, you get worried about the little things and you're worried about this, you're worried about that. One of the big things that I took away from this weekend is like just drive traffic and let the let it do its work. If a lead comes in and they're interested, they'll get on the call with the SFM. You know, you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, I, I just fire them over a quick email, you know, if, if when they do buy an application. If I don't hear from them, that's it, I'll let them go. Um you know, so yeah, just concentrate on paid advertising. The best if you can get free free leads, then th that's the avenue you've got to go down. If you don't have a lot of money to spend, but like I've just been told that over and over this weekend, just drive as much traffic to you know through the SFM and let them them do the work. You know, don't get too bogged down with email header yeah, and you know, in your, in your website header and stuff like that. You know, generally get looking okay. You know, don't get massively bogged down with that. So I hope that helps anyway, guys. So how do they find you? Great tip. Great tip. How do, they, how do we find you uh, online? Um, well, you can email me at j at onwardsandupwards.com.au. Um, Facebook uh, is uh, J Mansfield. Perfect. Uh, that, I, I outsource my social media, so um, you know it's not always me answering when it comes to social media. So, but if you want, if you want to uh, connect with me personally, Jason Mansfield, and that's my personal one. So, perfect. Cool. Thanks, awesome. man. Thanks for coming by. That was awesome. Yeah, no worries. Hey, really good, to, good to speak to you guys. Hey, eh? so I'll uh, hopefully jump on one of these calls in the future again. It's been great. Let us know when you're available. Sri, yeah, how are you? What? You got any last words other than the 500,000 words you put in? <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Yo, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Yuli, for having me. Thank you for coming by. That was awesome. You, uh, you, you've made, you've made this episode what it is. Very proud of you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Big steps. Hey, I just want to say, uh, is it Yuli? Man, really good job, eh? Like seriously, um, like you know, taking control of the webinar. I, I'm, I'm sort of guessing that you're the um, you he know, is. You're, you're hosting it, so he's yeah. the man. No, good job, bro. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah. That means a lot. It's cool. <laughs> well, we've had a we've had a really good show today. We've had some incredible guests. We've had an incredible panel. We we've showed you what's possible when you have the right community backing you up. What's possible when you have the right system backing you up. Uh, what's possible when you have the right leaders backing you up? It's, it's all a game, and and we've all been uh, we've we've all been invited to play, and 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 we're inviting you to play, and and we want you to come join us. Pick a pick anybody on this panel, and 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 meet them personally, introduce yourself, and and figure out what we're all about. Um, you can find me at parttimebusinessbuilder.com. You can Google that. You can find it on Facebook. You can find me on uh, anywhere you want to look. You're gonna find me. So. 
Uh, last thing I want to say, James, can you lead us out with a little DJ music? James, we are proud of you. <laughs> One second, guys. Anything? This is the Linda Carlisle <laughs> <the> Collection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That was fun time tonight. I'll see you guys next week, and uh, we'll we'll do this again. We're gonna keep doing this because this is awesome. This is awesome. Thanks, it is awesome. See you all later. Yeah, you guys. awesome. Yeah. See you now. Have a good day, honey. Bye. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.